Happy Easter Sunday. My name is Yvette Green. Welcome to one of my most favorite days ever. Today, we celebrate what Jesus did for you and me. Today, we celebrate the death and life of Jesus. Today, we celebrate because Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. The love of Jesus is so deep and so wide. It reminds me of our Bible verse for this Sunday. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18. How wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of Christ? The love of Christ can't be measured. We can't measure it with a ruler. We can't measure it with a measuring cup. The love of Jesus can't be measured because it goes on and on forever. I get so excited just thinking about it. Now here's our friend Carter. Carter, tell us what the preschool is coming up next. Hey friends, get ready for praise and worship and a great Bible story about Easter. Yay! Bye! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Happy Easter to you. Oh, hi, friends. Happy Easter to you. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I am so glad you're here. Today is a day for celebrating, and I want to tell you all about it. 
Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Look, do you know what that is? A heart, that's right. Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. Everybody hold your hands up way up high in the air. Hold them up high. Because the Bible teaches us God's love for us goes higher than the highest mountain, higher than a kite can fly. Now, stretch your hands out wide like this. Because God's love for us is bigger and wider than we can even hold. Now, put your hands down deep to the ground. Because God's love for us goes deeper than the deepest ocean. He loves us so much. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his good, good friends, he told them he would have to go away, but he told them he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to a garden to pray. While he was there, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. All of Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? Yes, they were so sad. They put Jesus' body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? Day one. Day two. Day three. Look! On the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Then came the good news. Jesus came back just like he said he would. Everyone was so happy. Can you show me your happy face? Yes, Jesus is alive. It was amazing, incredible. Do your happy celebration dance. Yes, Jesus is alive. We are celebrating today because it's Easter and Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy Easter. Wow, Jesus really does love us. Let's lift our hands and thank Jesus for his love. Let's reach way up high, high as you can go, and repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Let's say that again. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Great job. Before you go, I would like to pray with you and give your family some next steps. Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Father God, thank you so much for your son, Jesus. Thank you for him loving us and wanting to be our friend forever. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this Easter Sunday. I want you to tell at least one person something you learned today about Easter and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy Easter, everyone. Today, we celebrate Jesus, our risen savior, and we have just the right tools that families will need to talk to preschoolers about God's word this week. You can download our family activity guide from the Facebook parent group from our website, or you can check it out right from your phone. It will tell you what to say, guide you through a simple and fun activity, guide you through a time of prayer, and so much more. Remember, everything is right at your fingertips, and you can decide the best time that fits your family schedule. Please try it out, and you will be amazed at how much your preschoolers are learning and growing in their faith right at home with you. We have awesome services for the entire family every week. So check out the service times as you celebrate Jesus, our risen Savior today, 
and every day. Every fourth Sunday, we get to see and talk to our friends and small groups leaders in our live Zoom small groups. Check out the date and times listed, and we'll see you then. Have a great day.